Engage. Disrupt. Adapt. Repeat. You're listening to Pure Reinvention, the podcast for curious people. Welcome to this episode of Pure Reinvention, where we create space for the unexpected by inspiring a reinvention lifestyle. And welcome to the first edition of 2017. It seems fitting as we look forward to all of the energy that's going to get unleashed in 2017 that we talk a little bit about what we're building. We've spent considerable time and energy in putting together over 100 podcasts highlighting success stories of both personal and professional reinvention and to a large degree using Detroit as the backdrop of reinventive thought. It's now time in 2017 that we want to break down these segments into what we might call a little bit more of a digestible thought. And so for the month of January, we're going to focus on Detroit as the core of reinvention. Detroit has taught us so much and has become the opportunity for us to take uh, corporate retreats and starters classes and even individuals into the complexities that Detroit has to offer, the lessons that it has to teach us, the people that we can meet. And Detroit has been a fabulous opportunity to learn how reinvention in its rawest form can create the disruptive energy necessary for next step success. And I think it's that next step success that we are are really all after. And because of that, It seems to have made sense that we also tie in some personal journeys that people have so that there's the ability to see how reinventive thought can be uh, applied to your personal life. There's also the opportunity to talk about how reinventive thought can influence in a very positive way your professional life. This week's episode is sponsored by HRM Services, providing solutions that work. HRMS provides customized human resource consulting services to fit the unique needs of their clients. Every client has a story, and they make it their business to learn yours. Contact HRM Services today at 517-974-8033 or visit their website at hrmservices.biz. And so by quarter, we're going to take each of the five steps in the reinvention process. So for the first quarter of 2017, we're going to take Disrupt. For the month of January, we are going to focus on Detroit. And then in the following two months of the first quarter, we will focus on a professional disruption and personal disruption. We have had fabulous response when we have asked people to share their reinvention journeys. We have got a wide range of interesting and very compelling stories that I think you will really enjoy. All of them tied to the ability to help each of us use reinvention to move us on to the next level. One of the things that I've learned in these peer reinvention podcasts is how important it is that key strategic leaders always stay a little unsettled in their responsibility in moving their organizations forward. And so when we see a leader who has kind of taken their foot off of the accelerator, when we see a leader who's not necessarily curious about their marketplace, when we see a leader who is maybe accepting the status quo, we realize that becomes the opportunity for reinvention. That that leader who is leaning forward, that leader who is asking questions, that leader who is actually engaged by behavior, not engaged by words, but engaged by behavior, is that leader who is positioning their organization for their next growth spurt moving forward. And the reason that the recognition that the leader is the one who is kind of navigating that for the company is so important is because the employee base and the customer base of today is acutely aware of when we are in sync with our markets or in sync with our membership or in sync with shareholder value and when we're not. The behaviors of the company, the decisions that are being made, And those corresponding accomplishments speak volumes about why people connect 
into that energy. And so it isn't really about the printed words, although they're important, and it's not really about the spoken words, although they're important. But what's becoming very, very obvious to us in this Pure Reinvention podcast is how important people are picking up on the behaviors of the leaders who are driving the next phase of their reinvention. How impressive it is when we have leaders who are putting unlike things together to create new opportunities and the response in the marketplace that they get. How the leaders of today are not using the assumptions of the past to drive their organizations forward but are willing to accept the fact that the world as it behaves today has enough differences within it and opportunities that those differences bring that we're able to now start looking at how we put different combinations together to get very different results. I've said this a number of times, but it probably bears repeating, that in the color palette that's available to the world today, there are really only three primary colors. But from those three primary colors, depending how we manage the amount of color that we put in from each of those three primary colors, we get a whole rainbow of possibilities. And many businesses have always felt that they've always been about one color and that where they've been is always about how they do just this one thing, but they do it really well. That in itself is a tremendous accomplishment for that company and where it's been, because at the time, that's what that marketplace wanted. But we're now entering a brand new time period, a time period in which network televisions, which have been disrupted by the cable companies, who have now been disrupted by the on-demand service providers, who will then be disrupted by whatever's next. All of a sudden, we're not talking about whether disruption exists. We're talking about what generation of disruption is now what your customers expect you to provide. And because that is the environment in the world that we live in today, and believe me, even personally, I have seen the delivery systems come to our house much more frequently as we've shifted our shopping pattern from going to retail establishments to buy, pick up, and bring home, to shopping online and having delivery systems bring those packages to us. Very disruptive thought from even five years ago. But those organizations, whether they're for-profit or not-for-profit or whether you're a municipality, those entities which can navigate successfully that changing climate have looked at disruption as an opportunity and not as a threat. And so as you listen to the podcasts in the first quarter of 2017 where disruption is the theme, remember that disruption isn't what takes you to your knees so that you can writhe in pain and and feel sorry for yourself. But disruption is put in our pathway for us to decide whether that's going to be a barrier and an obstacle or whether that's going to be an opportunity. And we want to be able to bring you podcast guests and their experiences who put disruption as one of the greatest opportunities to be able to lead your companies and those collective energies to a place never seen before by the company and never appreciated as much by your membership or your customer base as ever before. Because that's that refreshed new view, that refreshed new offering that your customers are hungry for So we welcome you to 2017. We're very appreciative of having you on the journey with us. We'll do our absolute professional best to share these disruption stories in the first quarter with the takeaways that will make your time listening to Pure Reinvention one of those most uh, important segments of your week. We look forward to being on that journey with you. And remember, if you're ready for a change, make it a change that lasts. Make it Pure Reinvention. Thanks for listening to this episode of Pure Reinvention. Keep the conversation going and get alerts when new podcasts are up by following us on Twitter at Pure Reinvention or sign up for our mailing list at pureinvention.com.